Hey, this is Harold Nixon with HaroldNixon.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to import track archives. This is a super neat feature uh, that lets you import things uh, from other Steinberg products that uh, you didn't actually have to render down a file for. It, it imports all your edits, everything, just like it was, even the track titles and everything. It's, it's super neat. So uh, I'll go ahead and play you a little bit of this to show you I've got the project pulled up that I'm wanting to import them into, but there is no mandolin track. So. So you can hear there's no mandolin in there. Okay, so what we want to do is go into File, Import, Track Archive. Okay, now you would point this to your CD, uh, CD drive or DVD drive, depending on what you're going to be importing from. I've got them here on a little thumb drive, uh, Kingston thumb drive, under the Mando Tracks folder. So uh, normally, if you was importing, you know, files, you're normally importing the media itself, uh, the WAV files and such. But uh, where this is uh, takes care of all that, you just click on this file here, uh, which is an XML file. So we'll go ahead and hit Open, and it brings you up to this dialog box here, and it tells you the tracks that you have in this XML file, which we've got two tracks: a left mandolin and a right mandolin. So uh, you can you can literally check those the ones you want. I'm just going to go ahead and select all, and it shows your uh, the the project sample rate and the track archive sample rate and all that good stuff. Unless you need to do uh, some sort of conversions or whatever, and uh, this tells you if you want to uh, use the media from the archive or copy it to the project folder. Of course, we want to copy it to the project folder since we'll be working with it and we want it on our hard drive. So we'll go ahead and hit OK, and it uh, it just dumps those right in, no problem. And if we'll scroll down to the bottom here, now we see we have mandolin tracks in there. And let me go ahead and move those up so we can see them a little bit better. I want them underneath the banjo here. Okay, now what's really, really neat about this is it saved all of our edits, all the uh, punches and everything. So I'll, I'll open one of these and show it. Uh, see, we've got all the dubs there for the break. and It's pretty cool. And uh, both of them are opened right up uh, with that one file. So I'll go ahead and play you this to show that it's actually in sync and everything. So you can hear we got some mandolin going there. So I appreciate you watching the uh, uh, tutorial here. And uh, if there's anything uh, that you need in the line of uh, computer audio stuff, uh, be sure to visit haroldnixon.com and help support me a little bit. Uh, the page is cur currently under construction, but hopefully I'll have it up before too awful long. So thank you again and uh, have a good day.